Hi, I'm Mark Phillips, the creator of Palcohol. Wow, what a crazy few weeks this has been since the public discovered Palcohol. We were excited that Palcohol was approved in early April and that our labels were approved soon thereafter. We then began working, still under the radar because no one knew about us, on our manufacturing logistics, distribution channels, marketing plan, etc., with the idea of a fall debut. That all changed when the TTB released our approved labels, unbeknownst to us. Our unfinished website was discovered with some edgy wording on it and everything went nuts. As questionable as that wording was, and I admit it was, I want to make clear that we never suggested using palcohol illegally, as some have reported. Because we weren't prepared with the proper message about palcohol, people imagined how it would be used. It was reported that powdered alcohol will make it easier to get drunk by snorting it, that it will make it easier to sneak alcohol into places, easier to spike someone's drink, and easier for kids to get a hold of it. All of those statements couldn't be further from the truth. And the last straw was Senator Charles Schumer's recent request to the FDA to ban palcohol. Like so many others, he is completely ignorant about the truth of palcohol. As a result, his letter to the FDA and his press conference were so riddled with inaccuracies and irresponsible statements, I just had to set the record straight. So this video is being made to give you a proper introduction to Palcohol, to separate the truth from the untruths. And that way, people can make up an, their own mind about Palcohol versus getting caught up in the hysteria. The video is in three parts. The first, to show you the packaging and its original use. The second, to address the concerns people have about powdered alcohol. And lastly, the real reasons why Palcohol should be approved. Let's get started. This is the bag that Palcohol will come in. It's not the exact bag, but a mock-up. It's the right size, four inches by six inches with a two inch gusset. And this is how much Palcohol comes in a package. One package of Palcohol. This happens to be powdered vodka. And this is a shot of vodka. These are equal amounts of alcohol. Palcohol is not some super concentrated version of alcohol. It's simply one shot of alcohol in powdered form. Let me tell you why I chose the bag. So when I hike, kayak, backpack, whatever, I like to have a drink when I reach my destination. Carrying liquid alcohol and mixers and bottles to make a margarita, for instance, was totally impractical. So I created Palcohol, which is so light and easy to pack. And of course, the story of how I created Palcohol, I'm going to save for another video. I have to save something for some other video. So when I realized I had Palcohol and that it would be perfect for hiking and backpacking, I knew I can't add the palcohol to the bottle of water because if I do, I'll have no more plain water to drink. So I had to add the liquid to the powder. I didn't want to carry a cup or a glass with me because then I'm adding weight and bulk again. So I designed the bag so it becomes the glass. So that's I'm going to grab this one over here because in this bag right now, I have uh, the cosmopolitan version of Palcohol. So, I'll show you how it works. All I do is pour about five ounces of water in there. Check. Then you zip the bag closed tightly and then shake. And it takes about 30 seconds for the powder to dissolve. The colder the water is, the longer it takes to dissolve. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. A cosmopolitan. And the cool thing about the gusset in the bottom is the bag stands right up. No problem. It's, it's quite sturdy. Stands right up. And you can drink right out of the bag. 
That's wonderful. If you don't want to drink out of the bag, you can put a straw in it. You might want to try that. And if you want to add a little more excitement to it, you could always even add a little garnish onto the bag to make it a little more elegant. It's perfect. It's so much fun. So let's say uh, if you're somewhere that is not remote and you want to uh, add some ice cubes to it, you can add some ice cubes to the bag and still enjoy it like that. If you don't finish the bag in one sitting, you can zip the bag close and save it for future use. Of course, you can always pour it into a glass if you're somewhere with the glass available. And there you go with a beautiful cosmopolitan. That's how it works. I think it's a wonderful idea. Now, that's what I had in mind when I created Palcohol. But since Palco was discovered by the public, we've mostly heard about the negative uses of it. And I'll show you why those are unfounded in the next segment. It is unfortunate that most of the media coverage has been about the imagined negative uses of powdered alcohol. The four that seem to be mentioned the most often are, one, that a person can snort powdered alcohol and get drunk quickly. Two, that because it's powdered alcohol, it will be easier to sneak into a movie theater, school, or stadium. Three, it will make it easier to spike someone's drink. And lastly, powdered alcohol will be easier for kids to get a hold of. All of those are completely false. I'll address them one by one. Here is the amount of powdered alcohol from one package and the shot glass of vodka that we saw in the last segment. Remember, these are equal amounts of alcohol. Because of the alcohol in powdered alcohol, snorting it is very painful. It burns a lot. It hurts. It would take about one hour for someone to snort this much powder. Why would anyone choose to spend an hour of pain and misery snorting all of this powder to get one drink in their system? That's it, just one drink. When they could just, oh, I don't know, drink a shot and accomplish the same thing. This was water, not vodka, really. You won't get drunk faster by snorting powdered alcohol and you'll go through a lot of pain. You can see there's absolutely no reason, even for an irresponsible person, to snort powdered alcohol when they can just do a shot in two seconds and accomplish the same thing. It's so painful to snort and it would take so long, it's just impractical. Number two, people say that Powdered alcohol will make it easier to sneak into alcohol into venues. Well, which would you choose? These are the same amount, one drink in each. You're not going to choose alcohol. The package is too big. Heck, you could sneak, oh, I don't know, one, two, three, four bottles in the same space as one packet of alcohol. So powdered alcohol won't make it easier to sneak alcohol into places because the bag is too big to conceal. So that's unfounded. Number three, because it's powder, people say it will be easier to spike someone's drink. Well, let's see. We have two drinks here. Let's say they're vodka and seven or something. Let's use a liquid alcohol first. Someone leaves to go to the bathroom. Here we go. Done. Nothing can see, completely dissolved, done. Maybe three seconds. All right, now let's try the powdered alcohol. I don't have it in the package, I'll just use it right out of the glass. Three seconds for the liquid alcohol. Ready, first of all, you're gonna have a problem with concealing the size of this package. So right off the bat, you're kind of doomed uh, from trying to sneak this in to spike someone's drink. But let's say I figure out how to do that. 
So when the person goes to the bathroom, okay, here we go. Imagine that's coming out of the package. All right. Oh, spilled a little bit there. No, I'll get it just a minute here. No, it'll just be a minute longer. No, it's not. No, it's not quite. Uh, just, just a minute. Can you see? It takes too long. It will take at least a minute of stirring for all the powder to dissolve. And because this uh, drink is cold, it may even take a little bit longer. Why would someone try to carry one of these in to try to conceal it and spike someone's drink when it takes so long to stir when you can do the same thing in three seconds? So clearly, Pelco will not make it easier to spike a drink because of the size of the packet and it takes too long to dissolve. It's still not dissolved. So that uh, issue is unfounded also. And lastly, powdered alcohol will make it easier for kids to get their hands on it. Absolutely not true. Pelcol is just like liquid alcohol. It will be sold in the same licensed establishments where alcohol is currently sold and only adults 21 years or older with proper identification can buy it. So it will not be easier for kids to get it. So you can see all the hysteria about the dangers of Palcol are unfounded. And anyone who makes those claims is either ignorant or just being untruthful to promote their agenda. We need to move beyond the negative and change the conversation to the positive uses of Palcol, which I'll talk about in the next segment. Alcohol is really a revolutionary product that has so many positive uses, both for consumers and businesses. Once people were made aware of the existence of alcohol, we were contacted by lots of folks suggesting a variety of uses. Because of that, we'll be making two formulations, a beverage formulation that is ingestible and an industrial formulation that is not ingestible. Each are licensed and sold differently. With regard to the beverage formulation, the original Palcohol, Gary was the first one to contact us. He's a frequent traveler and was excited that he could now transport alcohol without the weight of liquid alcohol in bottles and without the fear of bottles breaking in his suitcase. A hotel in Hawaii is interested in powdered alcohol to save on the exorbitant shipping costs for liquid alcohol sent from the States. Palcohol is at least one-third of the weight of shipping liquid alcohol. A person in the airline industry expressed interest in serving Palcohol in planes versus liquid alcohol because the lighter weight of Palcohol could save the airlines millions of dollars a year in fuel costs, which may mean they'll lower the ticket prices for us, uh, but I don't know about that. The industrial formulation has many uses also. Two companies one from Sweden and one from Canada, contacted us on the same day. What a coincidence. They're both interested in using powdered alcohol in their windshield wiper fluid. Several people have inquired about using alcohol as an emergency fuel. Carry a spare pouch in your car. Lightweight fuel for military transports. Or even a fuel source in a soldier's backpack. We've had doctors and nurses contest us contact us about using alcohol as an antiseptic. Whether it's shipping an antiseptic after a natural disaster or providing treatment to hundreds of millions of people in remote locations where weight is a constraint of sending traditional medical supplies in. Because it's lightweight, alcohol could really make a difference. And that's just a few uses. And the tip of the iceberg of possibly many more positive money-saving, maybe life-saving applications for powdered alcohol. Not to mention the environmental benefit. Because of its light weight, alcohol will reduce the amount of greenhouse gas emissions by two-thirds compared to shipping liquids. Wow! Why would anyone want to ban powdered alcohol with all of the benefits to society? Why would anyone want to enact prohibition-like measures 
to, to, to take away our rights to enjoy this wonderful product in a responsible and legal manner. Why would anyone want to ban a product that can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions? And why would anyone want to deny the military, the medical community, manufacturers, the airline industry, and other commercial enterprises a chance to use alcohol to save money and be more competitive? I'll tell you why. Because they're ignorant about the positive uses of alcohol, and they're caught up in the hysteria about the imagined and unfounded misuse of powdered alcohol. We need to educate our lawmakers about the truth of alcohol, all the positive uses. Let them know we don't want it banned. We want it approved, taxed, regulated, just like liquid alcohol. We need your help, and we need your help now. Several states are already moving to ban alcohol along with Senator Schumer's request for the FDA to ban it. Please contact your state and federal lawmakers to let them know you support alcohol. Send them a link to this video so they can make an informed decision. We need to act now before ignorance determines our future. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.